thing, let me do my thing. I mean, do your thing, let me do my thing. Move that thing, mommy, move that thing. Come on, move that thing, mommy, move that thing. So do your thing, let me do my thing. Yeah, at the at the beginning, you know, the, the pre-production, I should say, it was um, it was a, it was a lot of skepticism. It's a lot of people that was that was in it that didn't, you know, really know about the dance and come from the street and you know what can be brought to the table. So when I said, okay, I can have somebody run up the wall and you know do a twist, or I can have somebody, you know, do gainers right in place and then do a back front, you know, and then come down and spin on his head. They were, they were like, you can really do that? You know, like, really? I was like, yes. I, 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 when I said I can have somebody, you know, turn into a bird, you know, and walk on their knees, they're like, really? So they, they, they had to see it for themselves, you know, and some of the um, audition footage blew them away. A damn moment. So they were blown away in that that perspective. But then when I said I can put all of this and this together and make this and this happen, and um, you know, y'all give me the opportunity to work with you know who I want to work with, we can we can get this done. The audition process was about three days. Uh, one for the guys and one for the girls, you know, one for the callback. We ended up hiring like 53 guys. This is Chris Stoke, he's the director of this film. I'm gonna let him explain everything to you guys before we get started and we're just gonna go and knock it out. What's up, y'all? Hey. It's really good, this, it's, a, it's a good opportunity for everybody because it's been a long time since it's been like a dance movie. And it's a really, really good movie, but the good part about it is, is we're going to use like 60 to 100 dancers in this movie. And we're pulling dancers from all around the country. So Dave and us are looking for people to be really tight and to see how you know tight you are and how fast you can learn because it's a lot of routines for the main crew. Here we go. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna get it going. Let's do it. First part. It's jump. And one. When I'm teaching, I, I really like doing it full out so they can see it how it's supposed to go, you know, and I really, I like to do a piece and go right to the music. Yeah. This is all a little something like this. One, and, ba, ba, ba. Yeah. Turn your volume up. So you're stepping off with your right, right push, lean, step, here, again. Your chest goes out and you kick out. Yeah. Push, back. It's so fast though. It's like. Some people don't know, I'm, but I'm watching them while I'm teaching it to them. And the people who really want it, they like try to be in the front. A lot of people are scared to be in the front because they feel like they don't have a routine yet and they want me to see them when they got it. But don't worry, I'll see you anyway. Like right now, I'm not doing the full out because I'm going to watch. When I have auditions, I'm really looking for people who who let go, you know, just full out. And I'm really looking for more of a, like that artist vibe, a lot of personality, a lot of character, you know, that can, you know, they can sell themselves, they can dance by themselves and sell the whole thing, you know, right in front of the camera. That's the kind of person I'm looking for. Turn the volume up. Yes. Turn the volume up. This is an exclusive. Turn the volume up. Okay, um, number one today, everybody else thank you guys. Oh, uh, it's the hardest part. All right, 25, 27, 24, and 28. The letting people go. Oh, I hate it. All right, let me have the next group. Let's go, let's go. This is a misdemeanor exclusive. If your radio is experiencing any kind of difficulty,
difficulty. Turn the volume up. Yes. Turn the volume up. Yes. Turn the volume up. This is an exclusive. Turn the volume up. It's very necessary. Please have me stay. Everybody else, thank you, guys. This is the first day of auditions of God Serve, the movie. And this is the beginning of history. The biggest dance movie ever. I think tonight was beautiful. We had the hottest dancers in LA in here. Tomorrow we're going to do the girls. See what girls can get out there and uh, can work it out. Whoa! 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 Whoa. Yeah! Whoa. Hey, yo, Tim, man. Whoa. Mr. Jump Off right here, man. Yeah. We're going to get it started. Shane is going to show you guys the routine. One of the choreographers in the movie. Tip top, ladies and gentlemen. Now I've been knowing Shane for at least like uh, 11 years. And Shane, you know, when it comes to uh, showcasing the girl's uh, ability in dance, oh, he got that. Because he'll put them on the ground, sliding, humping, everything, and won't sweat or get his pants dirty. <laughs> Everybody is bringing it, and it's like it's that it's that diva vibe. They trying to kill the next per the person standing next to him. I don't care friend or foe, they trying to kill them. It's a di it's a different kind of uh, intensity in the room because everybody is diva out, and they're, they're bringing it. They're bringing the sexiness and the hardness. Look. With the girls audition, I was looking for a number of things. I was looking for you know, a lot of versatility. Sexy. I was looking for, you know, rough with that ghetto edge. But being able to flip from sexy to rough. And a lot of versatility. I, like, I, I, wanted, I wanted them to have a lot of charisma as well. A lot of personality, uh, stage presence out of control. So they had to bring a lot and be able to flip it to whatever crew I was going to put them in. And then package it all in one. Party. And buy everybody at the barber card. Black Barbie dressed in Bagari. Uh, I'm trying to leave in somebody's Ferrari. Tomorrow, call back at 1 o'clock here. Thank you. 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 Thank